process, not too bad. Uh, first thing we'll do is we'll come in, we'll walk around on the engine, check it out. Um, check it out. Dwayne's going to climb up top and get the cap. So yesterday we ran, and uh, instead of keeping someone on the engine all night to keep, it, keep the fire going, we, uh, we built a bank of fire in the firebox. And what that means is we shovel uh, a big horseshoe of coal inside the firebox, pretty thick and pretty deep, and it'll burn from the underneath to then crust over on the top, and it just sits there and stays hot all night. Because um, if not, if you're dropping the fire, uh, the, the boiler will uh, contract, and then in the morning when you get here, it'll expand. So we build the bank, put the fire in the firebox, and then we put a cap up on top of the smokestack, and that cap keeps all the heat inside the boiler and the firebox to keep everything warm. So we left the engine last night at uh, 8.30, 9 o'clock. We were sitting at 270 pounds of steam. We come in at 5.30 this morning, we're sitting at 240 pounds. So we only lost her. She's pretty tight, tight firebox, tight boiler. And when Dwayne gets down here, you'll see that's the diameter of the smokestack uh, of the locomotive. So far, right? Okay. All right, so what I just did is I just told them that the cap's off, so now they can start working on the fire in the firebox. Uh, this is the blower line. Um, when we fire the engine up, you have to have draft to get your fire going. So we'll hook in uh, an air line into that. Uh, where we're under steam, that's what the drain valve. And we keep the drain valve open because if we didn't, if he opens the blower the first thing in the morning, all the soot and water and condensation is going to puke out all the top of us. It gets real nasty and dirty. So as soon as that clears up a little bit, I'll shut that. I'll leave it track and just let a little bit of the condensation drip out. Well, what we'll do, once they get the blower open, is we'll do a water glass for them. Check the water levels, make sure the glasses are reading the right levels. Um, well, what we do, it, it's real crusty on top, but underneath it's burning real good. So then we take a rake, and we call it breaking the bank, and we'll just break that off all over the top. Your fire starts from that, and then we'll add green coal on top of that to get the fire going. Once that fire gets going, then we'll get the grate shaker bar out and start shaking the grates, and then that'll start dropping the dead ash down from yesterday's fire, and the new fire will just sit right down on top of the grates. And once they start doing that, I'll take you up to the firebox area and show you how they're shaking the grates and things like that. Uh, give you a little quick history on the engine, if you don't know. Uh, it was built by the Norfolk and Western Railway in 1950 uh, for passenger service. It pulled trains from 1950 to 1959. Uh, passenger trains between Norfolk, Virginia and Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, it's the most modern steam locomotive ever built. Because uh, it was built in 1950, most railroads were converting to diesels at that time. So uh, it's all roller bearing, pressure fed lubrication. It was built for power and speed. Uh, they used to run them up to 100 miles an hour on passenger trains, and then in the mountains they would run them 40 and 50 miles an hour. So it's a, it's a very modern engine. Uh, when it was retired in '59, it sat in a roundhouse and ran it for a couple years. Then it went on display at that time at the Roanoke Transportation Museum at 